Hello, my name is Terry with Corgi Canada. In this brief video, I'll be explaining the width sonar calibration on your new EM9550 balancer. So, typically in balancing, three nominal dimensions are necessary. Distance between the rear lip of the wheel and the machine, the wheel diameter, and the wheel width. With the 9550, this external sonar will automatically input the width. However, during startup, you must calibrate it using this plate and the small cap screw supplied with the machine. So we'll begin the procedure by installing the plate onto the hub. On the hub of your machine, are, there are three holes, one of which is threaded. The threaded hole is our top dead center. So. There's one hole in the plate, or one small hole. Cap screw goes through the hole and likely threads into what I call that top dead center threaded hole on the hub. Then you use your conventional speed nut and completely bottom the plate out on the hub of the machine. Now, on your display are a number of buttons. This button here serves two functions. It allows you to access the menus, and it also serves as the enter button. The one just below it is a door with an arrow pointing out. That's exit. So if I press menu, I see a number of different options, which we'll discuss in a separate video. Exit. In order to access my calibration modes, I must keep my finger on this menu button three hidden icons will show up. I'd like to calibrate the sonar for the width, so I go here, press enter. It's asking me to confirm that I'd like to calibrate by pressing enter. It's asking me now to rotate, so I simply grab the plate, slowly rotate, and the machine will stop and lock in a preset location not moving. The machine stopped on its own. It's asking me now to close the hood. At this point, the sonar bounces signal off the plate. It just learned where the hub is. We're done. Thank you.